Hi everybody, today we're going to take a look at the Amazon Kindle Scribe and I'm going to show you how you can create a notebook and uh, look at the different templates and some functionality that you have there. So first thing we're going to do, uh, you can see we are on the home screen. We're going to click on notebooks that appears on the bottom. And on this page, you can, you can see I've already created some folders. I prefer folders, but you can either just have your notebook, several notebooks here. You can organize them into different folders. It's just a matter of preference. Uh, we'll go ahead and just create a notebook. So see the plus sign on the upper right hand corner? Go ahead and tap on that. You can see you have the option to either create a notebook or create a folder. We're gonna go ahead and select create notebook. And you can see you are prompted to name the notebook. So using your keyboard that shows at the bottom, you can go ahead and name it. We'll go ahead and name ours to do. Okay. And you can see the name displays up here. After that, you can select from a multitude of different templates. Um, you've got lined paper, lined paper with a margin, lined paper with um, wider rows. There's dotted paper, uh, a grid. There's dots to do kind of a checklist. Uh, planners, more of a calendar view. I'm going to go ahead and select checklist for our to-do and I'm going to click on create. So you can see this is what displays and on the left you can see this little pen icon. If you tap on that you'll see your menu bar to the left. If you prefer it to the right, you can click these three dots and it does give you an option to move that to the right side. I'm gonna go ahead and move it back. And again, just tap it, just a matter of preference. If you, the default is the pen. So if you hold your pen down on that for a second, it's pretty sensitive. Um, you can select fine, thin, medium, thick, heavy. So let me just select heavy and show you. And then if I want to go back and adjust it, just update it like that. The next option is the highlighter. So you can see that's my highlight. Also there, if you hold your pen, you can adjust it to find thin, medium, thick, or heavy. The next option is an eraser option. So when you select that and you just do this, you can see that and begins to erase it. Now, if you have a Premier pen like I do, you can use the back of it and you can see it kind of goes in a little bit. So when you erase, you just push down and that's another way to erase as well. Another thing you can do is, this next option is a uh, pointer and that really helps you to flip your pages. So let me do the pen option again and show you an example of what I'm talking about. So if I have page one here, and let's say I want to flip to another page, I'm gonna select my pointer. You can see I'm on two of two. If I just flip my page like so, now I'm on page three of three. So I'm just gonna swipe again and come back to my page. If I want to undo this, I can just select this option here, and that'll, if I misspell a word or something like that, if I want to redo, then I select these options here. All right, and if I, you can see there's nothing at the top. If I have my pointer finger selected, or I can really just use my own finger as well, but uh, using my pen or my finger, if I just tap up there, you can see all of a sudden my mini bar appears. So uh, if I want to send my to-do list to someone, you would just click on this button here, which will then prompt you to enter an email address. If you've got a, an account associated uh, with your device, it will automatically show that email, or you can add somebody else's email as well. So another option for you to be able to um, save. So anyway, uh, that's, that's a, a quick tutorial on how to create a template and create your notebook. So I hope that was helpful. I'll be posting additional videos. So um, please do uh, 
like or subscribe if this was helpful as I do plan to post additional videos about the Kindle Scribe. Thanks so much for watching.